Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a basic service on a 100 series Land Cruiser. This has the 4.7 litre V8 petrol engine. It's a 2UZFE. This particular engine can be found in the 1998 to 2006 Land Cruisers. Also some uh, Lexus uh, LX470s and the Tundra and Forerunner for you guys in the US. So we'll do the oil, oil filter and air filter. All right, so for this job, you're gonna want a few different tools. Uh, we've got a socket set with a 12 and 14 mil socket. Ideally half inch drive so that you can use the oil filter tool, which will make the job a little bit easier. Uh, you've got a flat head and Phillips drive uh, screwdriver. We've got a head torch for a bit of extra light. Um, and we've got some gloves and safety goggles as well. Um, in terms of the parts that we're using, we're using a Ryko, there are other brands, but this one's the A1407. We've got a genuine Toyota oil filter, which we recommend using, and a gasket for the sump plug washer. And in terms of the oil, you're gonna need 6.8 liters of oil. Uh, there is different viscosities depending on your region, but this one's the 10W30. All right, before you get started, take the car for a 15, 20 minute drive. That helps to get the oil up to operating temperature and it'll help to drain it out easier. The other thing we've chosen to do is put it on some blocks so that the car's a little bit higher up. And if you do that, make sure you chock the wheels. All right, so we're about to get under the car, but just before we do, just undo your oil filler cap, which is up here on the engine. That'll help the oil drain out a lot easier. All right, so we're under the car. We've brought the Phillips head, the socket, and the 12 mil. We've also brought the oil drain pan so we can drain it into there. Now there is a panel you can take off to get to the sump plug bolt. Um, it's kind of in between the two front wheels and back a bit, but you'll know it's got two uh, small Phillips head screws on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and undo these. Should come off pretty easily. Just put that aside. Now that's gonna let us get to the sump plug bolt, which is just up in here. All right, so grab your 14 mil socket and just crack the bolt slightly, then position your pan underneath. Now the oil's gonna be hot at this point, so just make sure that you get your hand out of the way. You're gonna undo the rest by hand and let it drain into the pan like that. All right, now while we're waiting for this to drain, we'll go up to the engine bay and do the air filter. All right, so on the driver's side of the car, you have your air filter housing. Now it's got three clips on the top that you wanna just undo. So the first two pop off that way. The other one you have to get underneath and just pop the clip up like that. Then this will lift up a little bit. The filter isn't a screw on, it's just a little rubber fitting. So you should be able just to twist and pull and it'll come off like that. Okay, so we've grabbed our new air filter. Just lift up the lid, pop it in like that put the lid back on and just clip it back up. And that's it. All right, so we're up underneath the front end of the car now. There's another plate similar to before, which will allow you to get to the oil filter. That has two 12 mil socket heads on it. So just grab your socket and loosen those. So removing that plate is gonna give you access to the oil filter, which is just here. So now take your oil filter socket and put it on your half inch drive. So you wanna put it through in here. Just turn it a little bit until you can feel that it's on to the filter nice and snug. Now you wanna just crack the oil filter slightly. Don't fully undo it. As you can see, I've just slightly cracked it just enough so that I can do it with my hand. Now take it off. Now we've got another pan just because there might be some oil that comes out of the filter itself. Just put that underneath, reach up inside, and just slowly remove the filter. You can just pop the filter in the pan and let it drain out. All right, so once you've let that drain a bit, just grab a bunch of paper towels and just go up in there and just clean it up a little bit. You wanna try and clean up the old oil off the surfaces. So now it's ready for the new filter to go on. All right, so grab your new filter. Take the little plastic cover off and you'll notice with this particular one it does have some pre bit of lube on it a bit of oil if it doesn't have this on yours just grab a bit of new engine oil and just rub it along the top this will help it sit better and then take the filter and you want to screw it back onto the fitting now just screw it on until it touches okay then grab your socket again and you want to tighten it three quarters of a turn And that's it. You don't want to over tighten it. 
Now you're ready to put the cover back on. And you can go ahead, get your socket and tighten those up. All right, so that's stopped dripping, so just move that out of the way. Now, have a look in there and just make sure that the old sump plug washer isn't still stuck to the sump. In my case, it is. So just grab a flathead screwdriver and just lightly tap that off like that. Just give it a bit of a wipe, ready for the new one to go on. Grab your new one, put it on your bolt. And just tighten that up by hand. Now we are going to use a torque wrench. Correct setting is 29 foot-pounds. There we go, it's torqued. Now you can grab your cover and pop that back on. Tighten those up and that's it. All right, now the last step is to add your clean engine oil. If you have a funnel, it's gonna make things a lot easier. So just take off your filler cap and pop the funnel on, grab your new engine oil, and just carefully pour your first bottle in. Now remembering that it does take 6.8 liters, so you'll use up one whole bottle first. If you turn the bottle on the side when you're pouring, it'll stop it from glugging. All right, and then grab your second bottle and just top it up to 6.8. Now what we'll do is we'll put the filler cap back on, we'll let the oil settle for a little bit, and then we'll check the level and make sure it's correct. All right, so now that we've let that sit for a few minutes, we're just gonna check the engine oil level, which is just next to the filler cap. So pull that out, wipe it off, and put it back in. And I can see that it's just above the full indicator on there, so I know that it's a good level. And that concludes the basic service on a V8 petrol 100 series. Now to dispose of your old oil, pour it into these and you can take it to your local auto parts store. Thanks for tuning in guys. If there's anything else you'd like to see or anything you would have done differently, let us know in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. No, 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 no. Oh, the bloopers are gonna be the best part. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another, Never mind. Cut that. Cut. Cut. If Mark McGowan could um, put some roadworks on this street and close it, that would be great. How does my hair look? All right, shall I just crack it? I mean, just oh. loose, like loosen it. So yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Christos on a bike, cos... Zoolander! You're too kind, Bradley. He's too kind. Ladies, take note. <laughs>